Today I'm going to talk about how sleep influences our metabolism. Now when we talk about metabolism, often people associate it with our ability to lose or gain weight. However, there is a lot more to it than that. Metabolism is a collection of jobs performed by the cells in our body, essentially a bunch of chemical reactions that are done to keep us alive. Examples of these include the absorption of nutrients, the disposal of waste products, and also the management of fluid balance in our body. Sleep has a profound effect on our ability to perform these tasks and function optimally. So of course it's within our best interests to try and make sure that we get a very good quality and quantity of sleep. Now I've had uh, clients that I've worked with that have been on a certain plan, so they've been progressing week on week, and then for one reason or another, their sleep becomes affected. So then they, they have had a week of poor sleep, for example. What generally happens is the progress stops, and what will happen is that, of course, other than not being able to perform well and their mood being affected, amongst other things, generally what happens is the scale is going to come up. Now, this isn't just necessarily going to be um, and it may not even be uh, fat gain necessarily if, they, if they're still um, consuming less calories than they are burning. However, it affects the regulation of fluids as I mentioned. So what can happen is their body can hold on to more fluid, making them feel as if that they have gained body fat. And of course the scale also tells them or suggests that they've gained that as well. Now of course we can't read too much into what the scale says because it only tells us very limited amount of information. But you get the point. Sleep is essential and throughout the series we're going to teach you how to get a better quality and quantity of sleep, teaching you how much sleep you should ideally get in a night and all of the intricate little details about sleep that you might find very interesting and helpful in order to help you improve the um, quality and quantity of your sleep. Sleep disorders and diabetes are rapidly growing problems with serious public health implications. There is growing interest and evidence that sleep loss and sleep disorders have a serious impact on metabolism. Some studies have clearly shown that sleep deprivation can seriously alter the glucose metabolism and the hormones involved in regulating metabolism. So that's decreasing leptin levels and increasing our ghrelin levels. So let's break that down. What does that actually mean? Glucose metabolism is actually a general term for any metabolic activity. So an example would be the breakdown of sugar to be used for energy. Leptin is a hormone that's produced by the fat cells in our body. And its main role is to regulate our fat storage and the amount of calories that we eat and burn. Ghrelin is known as the hunger hormone because it stimulates our appetite, which increases our food intake and also promotes fat storage. So we can see a real problem if the leptin levels are decreasing and the ghrelin levels are going up. This goes some way to explaining why perhaps after a poor night's sleep, we tend to crave foods that are a lot more calorie dense. So by that I mean foods that are higher in sugar and fat, and also sometimes salt, and of course a whole lot of coffee. Now the majority of large studies suggest that chronic partial sleep deprivation is associated with an increased risk of obesity and diabetes. So I think it's safe to say that we have established that sleep is in fact very effective at regulating our metabolism. If we get enough sleep, we're going to be able to build more muscle, lose more fat, repair and rebuild our bodies more effectively, balance our hormones, regulate our blood sugars and lipids, manage our appetite and hunger levels, and last but not least, generally be a better human being.